I brought Spencer home. He loves being spoiled by his great grandma, but he really misses his daddy. I thought we agreed that he would stay with you for a while. We did. I just thought maybe with everything, you needed to see him and hold him and hold life. Can you just please tell Alfred or Norma, whoever has him, to put him in the playroom? Thanks. My love, I know you're hurting right now, but Emily was a huge presence in that little baby's life, and he is going to feel the loss. Listen, I apologize if my asking is an imposition. If it is, I will make other arrangements, but would you please, would you keep him with you? For how long? I don't know. I can't, I can't say how long, but I'll pay whatever expenses, including Norma's salary. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with imposing. It has to do with a little baby who needs his daddy and a man he, who needs his son. He deserves the best of everything, and right now that's not me. I don't want to subject him to my emotional turmoil right now. I love my son very much, you know that, but I love Emily too. He needs attention. I'm too distracted to give it to him, so please. All right, I'll take him home. Thank you. Nicholas? What? Honey, look at me. You surely do have your mother's infinite capacity for love, but beyond that, you have her strength. Well, I can't find it right now. It will find you. That's what will heal your heart. And when that happens, you and your son will make a new life. Nicholas, that's what Emily would want. <laughs>